Roblox is a game engine that promotes getting hit by cars and being chased by your worst nightmares. What I find more interesting though is that it also has the same game where you get to learn kung fu on your pet isopod after being chased in the undead fruit catacombs with your spine you ripped out of the avatar of chaos. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to Blaze of Dawn uh, YouTube uh, channel. Today, Today we're playing uh, Deep Woken. So first and foremost, I think it's really important to ask the question, what is a pilgrim? Well, according to the description of the game, it's an open world RPG, and um, well, uh, that that that's that that's all that says. Open world RPG is accurate, but it doesn't explain all that pilgrim actually is. So to help, I got creative and forced my friends to make pilgrim into an acronym. Please, I lost gold reaching a mountain mostly explored by dicks. Personally, I love getting ratioed and mentally minced every day. Of course we can't have good things, so then I got acronyms like penis inspection, loser gives a racist, and masculine man erectile dysfunction. Holy shit. Banger quote from Jesse on September the 18th, 11.52pm. Do you think I can monetize acrostic poems about erectile dysfunction? Truthfully, Pilgrim may be an open world RPG, but at its core it's a looter where you're in a mad dash to shatter everyone's bones for the sake of getting a marginally better weapon than the God Slayer you had before. With even an NPC begging for mercy after you violently slapped him around for the 20th time with his Vuvuzela that you can sell for the equivalent of three nickels in an empty gum wrapper. What about the open world part though? Pilgrim Pilgrim's open world is set on some random island out in the middle of nowhere, whereas other fantasy games give their locations names like Fair and Keep or Crumbling Farm Missoula. Pilgrim's names, its locations, pretty self-explanatory, like Volcano, Desert, Deep Desert, The Desert of Tumultuous Dreams, Isle of Recital, and even the most ominous of them all, Delaware. Pilgrim does a good job at setting up an area that looks unassuming up until you've gotten too close and realize you've been transported to Snow Hell. <laughs> Something else that's especially shocking about Pilgrimed is its usage of assets. You might not have noticed by the fact that the thumbnail for this game is basically annoying orange, but Pilgrim never really takes itself too seriously, with the Bandit King utilizing sound effects some might call goofy, and the Sleeping Cap helmet making you go me 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 whenever using its special ability. In the midst of all this, Pilgrim eventually shows its full hand with an actually impressive OST, especially the mountain with its piano. What separates Pilgrim from most other RPGs that I've played is that the devs for Pilgrim are severely unhinged and also play TF2. It also places a key focus in build diversity and customization. This game is so customizable, if you really wanted to, you could replace every noise with a fart sound effect. I found the blacksmith. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Alright, so on the bottom uh, right of your screen, click the, the cog, and you should see something that says, like, stinky UI sounds. Yeah, yeah I can. Can you click the box right next to that? Yeah, yeah it, it's farting. Alright, cool. Now, your entire menu and all the buttons you push will make fart noises. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's great. great. <laughs> More importantly, with the range of weapons and skills that this game has to offer, you can randomize your build and never really end up with the same thing twice. Great swords, halberds, katanas, spears, guns, magic staffs, a massive bell, hand-to-hand -hand combat arts, body parts. All of these weapons, you know, viable or not, set the stage for your build. Good segue. To go along with your halberds you pulled from the hard shell of an egg person, there's a host of different armor sets, helmets, accessories, and skills to pick from that actually structure your build. Ranging from absolutely disgusting because of how necessary and applicable it is for literally everything that you'd practically be shooting yourself in the foot for not getting, to, yeah, I, I mean, it's kinda handy. These skills, weapons, and armor set the stage for your playstyle. Read too much Berserk that you're starting to side with Griffith? Well, thankfully, there's a Buster Sword. Watch Karate Kid one too many times? I hate China! Take it all out 
out with a build where every single punch you land makes you punch even harder. Been financially cut off from your entire family for gambling too much? Try a lucky crit build to gamble whether or not every single hit either decimates an enemy's health bar or makes it look like you duct taped two teddy bears to your hands instead of a sword. Truthfully, though, with the stupid massive list of accessories that all have their own unique effects on your build, you're better off playing whatever you find comfortable than posting your build in the Pilgrim Discord just to be ripped apart. Depart Is resetting, uh, free? I don't hit. Yeah. Oh, it's from bottom up. up. So it's bottom wrong... up. Oh shit. What is that? Look outside. The meteors happen every so often, spawning alien life that you promptly send straight to the afterlife. Your reward for smashing ET's face in with hammers is of course a special rock known as a gem. There's a few different gems, with their primary purpose being to enchant your weapons and gear. Either that or you can spend it on dyeing your mount's funny colors. Gems are arguably the biggest factor in your playstyle aside from your weapon of choice. Enchanting your weapon with one can make you apply stacking fire, heal yourself for a chunk of damage, or completely ignore the end lag that your weapon has. End lag, for those that are unaware, is the system a game has in place so you can't abuse moves. For melee weapons, they all function in a 3-hit combo with practically no lag in between swings. At the end of this 3-hit combo, your character takes a quick rest before being able to 3-hit again. This resting period is the fabled end lag. Pilgrim doesn't really have a PvP scene for something like this to truly matter, however where end lag and your shitty build will get you killed is at the feet of one of the many bosses. As mentioned throughout the video, there's a plethora of different bosses and boss types, each one with their own unique attacks and fights, and being a grimy souls player, whenever I see a big health bar and a hard to pronounce name, I can't help but foam at the mouth. Spoilers for this next part, and I guess disclaimer as well, I'm gonna speedrun rank every single boss in Pilgrimed, obviously with the exclusions of the April Fools bosses, and if our lists don't really line up, I don't really care. Thief King is the first boss and on repeat fights a total pushover, dropping decent gear for the early game but being pretty forgettable overall, easily placing him in the D tier. Archmage is arguably the most controversial on this list. This boss primarily functions as a damage check. If your damage is trash and you can't rip him apart before he starts spamming spells, you're screwed. Otherwise, he explodes almost instantaneously and getting his challenge metal items is easy. Viperhead is, for most players, the second boss they'll meet. The parry windows are extremely obvious outside of a very surprising dash attack with few wind-up frames. The drops are decent, but once again it's an early game boss that's quite forgettable outside of having an entire dungeon dedicated to it. The pop-off pirate is another enemy that doesn't even really feel like a boss, rather just a simple enemy that got reskinned. By the time I got to this boss, I was already past the early game, which has probably jaded me. However, outside of his three-shot flintlock, he's not menacing at all. King Sandpod lurks out in the deep desert and is a threat at first, however this boss is so easy to parry that it becomes an absolute joke. As long as your connection is an absolute garbage, King Sandpot can be parried into oblivion even flipped onto its back for more damage. Ice King is so forgettable it isn't even funny. He sleeps on the ground and the first time through I didn't really even see him. It wasn't until one of my friends actually pointed it out that I fought him and realized how much of a pushover he is. Mono Squid is a threat to some, but after realizing most of its moves can be parried, it becomes a waiting game of having to wait for it to fall out of the air. Mr. Normal doesn't require any skill or technique at all. He's another damage check for the mid game. If your build does no damage, I'm sure you'll struggle a bit, but out of the few times I've fought him, I didn't even really parry or dodge, just spam attacked him and he fell over. Mr. Normal, being a mid game boss and his explosions though, lands him at the bottom of C tier. Yalgaroth is tough, primarily because parrying a simplistic creature where it isn't easy to see where the windups are is annoying. His second phase also locks you down by dropping tacks from the ceiling that makes the movement rough. Creepy Crab is arguably the most menacing at a distance, up until you get close and realize his health bar is small and you can once again spam attack him with little strategy, however his poison can be annoying for players with little defense. Magma Turtle's placement depends on when you fight him. Early game is a struggle, but by the late game his meteors don't do enough damage to warrant you even worrying about them, making it so you just have to parry him. In addition, if you parry his head slam, he gets stunned, so you can slap him around for additional damage like you could for King Sandpod. Got it! I, I, Drew, no, that's what I got! What'd you get? The Phoenix Staff! No, you didn't. No, no you didn't. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna hey, blow guys. my I'm gonna <laughs> blow my <laughs> fucking brains out. out. Oh, what? Uh, does this, this thing? thing? Uh, Isn't that the whole point of Kung Fu Panda 1? Where's that turtle fucker at? Oh. He, he died, died actually. I love be like. You get him, Drew. Nothing. nothing. Really? Nothing? Zero things? Nothing. nothing. Not even magic Zip. skills? Nothing. Nothing, nothing Jesse! Okay? Nothing! Nothing! Nothing, nothing goddammit! Pothief is a major challenge unless you have armor. If you have an armor 
rating over 30, he does pretty much nothing to you and you can beat him to death before he can even breathe. If you have no armor and you are a low level, I can see this guy being much higher. Abdominal Snowman is purely placed this high because of its annoying grab attack and its massive hitbox that's pretty rough to dodge. If it dealt higher damage and it wasn't comically slow, it could absolutely be higher. Shock Marauder is where the bosses slowly become more difficult. With the fact that he can basically teleport as well as launching more firepower than the average Chicago resident, he can definitely be a challenge. However, his small health bar keeps him from being anything truly difficult. B tier. B Who is that? The fucking low tier god, bro. Jesus. Uh. Patris isn't bad on paper. But being extremely mobile and having a second phase with a bunch of mix-ups and attacks that launch itself around can be annoying to keep up with. However, recovering is easy when you can get a few parries off. Unironically, the only reason Big Fish is up this high is purely because this fight is exclusively fought in the water. It's an extremely awkward fight because of this, and it's difficult to really see half the time while fighting this thing. Otherwise, it would be much lower. Kai will absolutely beat the parry mechanic into you. If you're bad at parrying, Kai will take full advantage of it and shatter your entire body easily. If Kai's HP was a little bit higher, this fight could be more difficult, however due to its relatively low HP and the fact almost all of its moves are entirely obvious with their windups, Kai's put middle of the pack. This isn't I even that bad of a Kai, bro. Kai. Kai can suck my dick. Wait, did you actually Man, try and fight off Kai? Kai. Hop off Kai, Kai. he's the best you. ninjago. Kai's the best ninjago, hop off my goat. Shut the no, fuck we didn't up. get a refund. Anyways. Apparently, we no refund. These are the worst takes known to man. I swear to uh, God. Just, the yeah, how? Okay, who's the, who's the best? Credit. Probably Zane, honestly. Who, yeah, who's the best Ninjago? Probably Zane. I like. I personally, Zane. I like Cole the most, but like Zane deserves that shit, bro. He's a fucking robot. <laughs> exactly. He's just like you, Drew. <laughs> a fucking. Bro, that's so real. real. Of course, he freaking deserves it. Zane is a. Fraud with a capital F. The fuck does that mean? He's just, he is he's just so as everyone else. lame. Actually, he he would be the lamest ninja if Jay didn't exist. Bro, Kai's entire That's... arc is I don't want my sister being fucked by skeletons. That's his entire character for like the first That's like, a movie very, that came out. That's a very good reason. <laughs> Bro, Lord Garmadon's wife is bad as fuck. Sorry. Oh God, his Zane's mom bad as hell too. Am I right, guys? <laughs> A bazinga. Just because you deserve it doesn't mean you should get it. It's the world doesn't revolve around Kai. Yes, it does, bro. What do you mean the pilot this is Zayner. because of him? What if I put a metal pipe up your rectum, Drew? Probably well, he probably moan. Like what he did just now. I, I'd moan as like a I'd moan as like a scare tactic to try to make you stop. I'll just get spooked and shove it in deeper. Get <laughs> <laughs> away from me, shove it in deeper to push him away. <laughs> the Prism Trolls placement is probably tied with Archmages for the most controversial placement. Prism Troll is a late game boss with a big health bar and some of the hardest hitting attacks. However, every single one of his abilities can be parried outside of his jump stomp, and the attack patterns are beyond obvious. He's not an easy boss by any means, but if you've gotten the rally skill and notice his attack patterns, the fight isn't bad outside of his damage. I'm so fucking mad right now. Oh my god, 32 HP. Uh, oh no. Granny is just an extremely awkward fight. That's it. Some of the attacks of the fight are easy to read, but being the biggest boss, Granny is just straight up awkward for me to fight personally. It unironically is a skill issue for me here. Bottom of A tier. Sailord is fast, hard hitting, and his second phase gives him access to massive attacks. Sailord also doesn't have any glaring weaknesses to take advantage of outside of the fact that his patterns are easy to read and he only really has three or four different combos to read. Aside from that, he's a boss most get stuck on for a reason. Highway Sun takes everything Sailord has, but makes it ranged. Not only does he have high damage, range, and an AoE attack, but he also has a self heal. This all stacked on itself makes it extremely annoying to deal with, especially when you try to help your friend with him and he pulls out his bullshit one-shot move that I suck at parrying. Snow Cultist is fast moving and features an attack that will either insta-kill you or simply put you into the red zone where if you fuck up it's a game over. It's another boss where if you can't parry you will never beat this boss. In addition, it's quick teleporting has baited me time and time again into accidentally rolling and then being stomped on. Now it's recording. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to, what to Pilgrims with Blazadon. Fuck my ass, dude. Holy shit. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you. <laughs> what? what? You, you can make all the menu sounds fart noises. 
Once again, Damn. holy shit, the fucking delayed insta kill is so torturous. They have my dick chopped off every single time right in front of my eyes, but it's like delayed. Like the fucking knife comes down and it slams against it, but I don't feel the pain until like five minutes later. It's so fucking shit. <laughs> it's, it's like a very strange it's five minutes. Fucking... Yeah, you're like, oh, it's happening, it's happening, and then nothing happens, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? And then the delay happens, and, then... and you fucking <laughs> die immediately, and it's like, oh, okay. And then you feel the, the true and then my pain dick of is gone. Fuck. Like, Okay. Up. You're either a hitter or a shitter. That isn't the realest thing. You're no a fucking shitter. way! I mean, we are in, we are in a separate dimension. Uh, they should have they should have put a Sunny D dispenser in here somewhere. Oh, true. Good reference, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a shout out in your next video. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this is going in, right? Clip, clip, clip. Get clip that right there. Get Jesse clip that. <laughs> No, just just hear me out. The hobo. Listen, I just suck at fighting this guy. His feints and his attacks and the sheer damage in the attacks as well easily take anyone out. The fact you need to land two parries on this guy before you can hit him once means that those feints that he's going to pull on you are going to be even more rough. Not only that, but he only spawns for a short period of time during the sunset, which means if you fuck up, you need to wait another in-game 24 hours. Parry baiting plus short window to actually fight him equals fucking annoying boss to kill. <laughs> no, 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 what the fuck? We, we block Perry Dunn! What the heck? Why does he have a troll face on? There's another hobo right, right here! Oh, Xander, I aggroed another hobo! Wait, I can't hit Xander chest! God damn it, Drew, stop aggroing so many fucking hobos! <laughs> <laughs> Drew, Drew aggroed one hobo and was like, dude, there's another one and aggroed the other hobo. That, that was, was the logical, logical progression. progression. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. What's your problem? Grave tree light is Torterra if Torterra wanted to poison you and watch you slowly choke and die. Surprisingly, I didn't struggle too much on this boss seeing as sometimes it just seems to stand there, giving you time to hit it. However, the time between these quote unquote free hits are hectic and all over the place. If you think this boss is slow because it's a tree rock monster, you're very wrong. It also features one of the worst walk-ups to a boss I've ever seen, so that's a feature too. But the biggest reason this boss ranks this high is mainly to do with the fact that it begins to regenerate its health if it isn't hit in a given amount of time, which means that playing defensively and trying to regenerate is absolutely not an option. Considering this boss doesn't regenerate slowly either, it does it fast as hell. Hey, Drew, are you a fan of Torterra? I fucking love Torterra. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I spelled through the hole in the... the skeleton would probably dump straight out Yeah, the skeleton goes art. The skeleton makes me art what? What? Huh? That's very fair. My nip is just out. What you do, get out of here! What do, bitch? Snow! <laughs> Snow! <laughs> Snow! <laughs> Laser beam! Oh, just sit and watch like a good little tw- anyways. You're gay now! <laughs> like a what? Torterra is so awesome. Suck cool. my dick, Torterra. That <laughs> was way better. On oh, God. That's so true. Kale, do not say Chimchar. No one cares. Well, what did Caleb what do? Chimchar, like, pretty much didn't I? I'm just chilling right now. Caleb didn't say anything. Even I'm, I'm on his side die. on this one. I just be getting dragged for shit I ain't do. Anyways, though, either way, I do want to say, Xander, your opinion is wrong. And that you can file that against my uh, complaint department. Imagine having so many shit takes you have a fucking complaint department. <laughs> 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 what can I say? He's perfected it down to a science. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I deal with too much bullshit for this. Oh, I did it. Stomped him down. Oh, fucking Let's go. go. No. 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 What is I did it, guys. Get his hands off me. Is, is it happening right now, Drew? He's, he's fucking rubbing me right now. This is weird. You what? Yeah. What? The skeleton has a pool, a grab, can summon other skeletons, is extremely hard hitting, and once again is really big, so it's another awkward fight. Right. Enough said. You bastard! Did I, all three of us die? You want me? No, I'm still alive. All right, Drew, you stay alive, quick. Old Fart on paper is the final boss of Pilgrim, which is fitting considering his entire existence stems from a shitty Tumblr meme. Anyways, his attacks are easy to tell, but the difficulty comes in being reverse flashbanged with shitty dialogue while he launches an epileptic's worst nightmare against you. High damage, hard to parry and dodge aside from his obvious wind-ups mushroom person. He sits very comfortably at the top of A. False Believer is relatively tanky, 
fights at a distance before closing the gap with an explosive high damage combo and features some of the least attacks that can be parried. This all combined into a second phase where his ranged attacks home in on you and can make him a nightmare depending on your build. If you build burst damage, then you can get the kill by simply removing his existence whenever he closes the gap with his high damage combo. However, if you built defense or god forbid sustain damage, you're gonna have a bad time. He sits at the bottom of S because of this. Fuck N. Oh, you, you actually wanted me to talk about him? Pilgrim's bosses can be characterized by either being a parry or a dodge focused boss. N is the latter, and with dodging having a long cooldown, there's little room for error. So just let me speak my frustrations here. Teleports around the arena, summons suicide bombing enemies, attacks that pulls you in and drains your HP, teleport explosion that requires quick action, long ass annoying ass quest to even get here to get dumpstered by this guy. Cat is the final boss of the catacombs and is extremely tanky, has a second phase which entirely changes his attacks, and is fast as hell to boot with high damage and toxic damage. The only real thing to note other than just saying boss difficult is that Kata honestly gets easier as time goes on. His first phase is extremely sporadic, filled with dodges combined into grab attacks and smaller enemies holding you down while he wails on you with a combo that can have a switch up that requires either a roll or parry and if you mess up your guard gets broken and he hits you again. This in comparison to his second phase where he pulls a sword and becomes more predictable is tame. His combos are relatively easy to dodge or parry. In fact, aside from his massive stomp, I don't really believe he has a single guard break in this phase, nor does he even have a single grab attack here either. The only issue just comes out with the raw damage he can output here. And he's in on a night. If you get on Fortnite instead of this, I'm gonna kill you. Jesse, you're already dead though, honestly. I, I like how many times I skull fucked you right now. I don't know. Did it, I well, think I, you're living fantasy land where you just wanna have gay sex. And honestly, I'm not Yeah, no, it's called Fortnite. It. That's what Max lives. Fortnite. It's called Fortnite. Actually, it's called Fortnite. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop killing the fucking small people. He's just gonna respawn. I need to heal. Bitch. I'm literally gonna fucking drive. Take your bitch off off vampire. You gotta oh have God. 20 McNuggets though. And also, vampire's so shit. You're still at no HP. I didn't get a single bit of HP back. Why is he in the wall? Why is he after me? Never mind. Jesse, hear, hear me out, out alright? I, I, I put a cursed doll on, so, so my health is half, but I'll, my staff starts to cool down. <laughs> you guys gonna beat the boss? You gonna, you gonna stop, stop dying, dying, Xander? How about that? <laughs> that is disrespectful as fuck. Drew? <laughs> It actually had a lot. Why the fuck does it only have 2k health this time? Oh, sorry, Xander. I'm gonna throw something. The game? <laughs> he dropped already, so. Grab. Max, Max I hit the top of my head. No, I died! <laughs> that was deserved, though. Okay, Max said he I would get actually tight. 57. I'm so fucking like, good at this game. I, Did you beat him? I beat him. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Holy shit. I'm gonna blow my brains out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fucking good at this shit ass game. Oh, you yeah, fucking you idiot. Game. All right, Xander, we got this shit. Come back. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I just, had to, I just had to take a little breather after Drew uh, started dick eating the fucking world right now. <laughs> dick eating. <laughs> I see like a smirk, there's, there's like I can stick my tongue out, that looks awful by the way. There's, there's a colon. <laughs> and then you give yourself how do I give myself, how do I give myself the baller face? Here, here we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Make yourself bald now. <laughs> Did you say you're gonna incubate one? Is that? Yeah. Okay. I forgot to tell you guys, Max incubates on crustables. He just sits on them. Sit on top of my uncrustable and I freak. warm it up. You're a freak, Max. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Freak. Leave them out ahead of time? Leave them? Okay. What I decide I want an uncrustable, I don't want it 30 to 60 minutes after I want an uncrustable. I want it within the next, like, 10 minutes. You're a freak. Actually, no. no okay, no. Okay, okay, no, okay. Hey, Jesse. So good. Jesse, Jesse, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't warm, warm them up to the point that they're, um, to the point they're warm. I warm them up to the point where you can actually bite into them without breaking off a tooth. The only way to eat them is to break off teeth. Bro. No, no. Oh my uncrustable like idea, popsicle man. That's all I'm saying. I like the bread is soft and the peanut butter a little, a little hard, you know. But the jelly still is. gotta be oh, jelly. I'll show you know? something a little hard. What? Here, right, cool. here you go, Jesse. Put, put, put this shit in the video. <laughs>
<laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Max sent me a picture of what looks like a fucking cactus is sitting on top of an uncrustable sandwich. Get the fucking shorts, you dick! <laughs> Alright, now I gotta kill the viper head. You're my sex slave now, Drew. Stay in there. No, 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 that's the gayest fucking laser. Oh, shit, I'm in the wall! Can you, hey, like, girl. can you attack from on it? Holy oh, shit, girl. mounted laser turret. So I true. think that'd be really awesome. Gay laser. Oh, shit, I missed. Oh, gay laser. Fucking... Get the mark out of the way. That's so funny! Holy shit. Holy shit. This is so awesome. Let me- <laughs> <laughs> I got Gelatinous, gelatinous Sludge. sludge. Jinx, uh, you, you, you owe me a Gelatinous me Sludge. You owe me you top blows up the vent. Too I'm just gonna put in feet in the Steam Workshop. Please Let's don't. see how this goes. Honkai Star Rail feet, okay. Another Honkai Star Rail feet. Uh, among Us. We ordered pizza today, and uh, it tasted kind of funny. I was really hungry, so I ate it anyway because my fat fuck. And then it turned out when they called the they called the thing, and then uh, they said, "Oh yeah, no, the we, the beef went bad." And I just Damn. looked, and I'm like, "Oh shit, I think I'm actually gonna have the worst night of my life You're tonight." You're gonna go for a Did loop, a bro. Refund, bro. What the fuck? Probably. I don't check. What the fuck you mean probably? I think that'd be more impressive, personally. Honestly, Xander, if I were if I was in your position, I would call it the pizza place. Uh, make sure they have an iPhone. So you can tell on FaceTime and then piss yourself in front of them and say this is war. <laughs> Lego Movie 2 is alright. It's not like bad, but it gets way too much hate. <laughs> the double, 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 double decker account. <laughs> Kill his mic breaking. It took so long to click. Where are the rare Gat sightings, guys? Where are the rare Gat sightings? Guys, where are the where are the rare Gat sightings, guys? <laughs> are you mocking me? <laughs> you wanna fuck me? This means war, Drew. This means war. <laughs> you trying to have sex with me? <laughs> Damn. To give you guys a peek into my to, into my personal life, Max just asked me fifty thousand for one dick or ten for every ten thousand, one thousand for every dick you suck, and then he's like, me personally, dick suck is my new job. Go to the office one day. He said, hey, who needs they who needs they who needs they dick suck? sucks? <laughs> who needs <laughs> these? Dicks? If you were if you were given a, a quarter for every time you said nya for the rest of your life, how many times would you say it? Do you know how many times I could say nya in like an hour? But it has to be around other people. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think I can do that. Uh, uh, how many how many other people? It has to be around at least one other person. A number <laughs> of <laughs> things. Uh, Drew, Drew, this is where Drew, this is where the dick sucking part comes into play. This is where you okay, say nya and then you just say This is where the dick sucking <laughs> part comes into play. <laughs> no, you no I don't think it I is into play. Dude. Dude. Andrew, hear me out. Every time you when you you just keep saying yeah, so you just keep making side money, 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 side Andrew, money. Andrew, call me William Afton. The way I'd be stuffing some children in some robot. I opened uh, Gabe's DM for the first time in like a week, and I forgot the last thing I sent him was uh, Open Season shaking his ass. What was his name? Open I Season. Going, so like, no, what was his name? Fair. Open Season. His name was <laughs> Open Season. Yeah, his name was Open Season. That is why it's called Open Season. They're spreading him open and seasoning him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerry, do you want to be opened up and seasoned? No, I would rather. Yes, he be does. No, I would rather not be open. <laughs> Max, you know that scene in uh, My Hero where All Might like basically loses his quirk and points, and he's like, "Now it's your turn." Yeah, that's me with you right now. Uh, you're opening Drew and seasoning him. Please do not open and season me. No, Max, don't do that. No, don't do it. Stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. I should get on your bed and empty myself on that. <laughs> empty your and what? And what? And what? I should and, shit and, on Max's bed. You did, that's not what you said. The first, you said empty yourself. I was referring to getting the salt and I pepper know. off me, but it seems mm. that I, I made a very poor choice of words. Really? Really? You think so, buddy? I'm bleeding. Fuck um, you mean you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I forgot there's a fucking point. Jew. I said I hate you. That's, what? That's crazy, Xander. Xander yelled Jew. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Sorry, the, oh, the average Aiden, the is the average Aiden Ross viewer. He's watering I should have asked before now. Um, hey, Jesse, are you recording right now? Just maybe. Hey, guys, welcome. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Over here, stroking my, my dick right now. I got lotion on my dick. Lotion on my dick. I'm horny as fuck, I'm man. I'm in these catacombs. I'm horny as fuck.
Then what are you doing? What do you mean? Your mom. Going? Where are you going up? Then it was on a whole nother level. Wait, where are we going? Up a ladder. There's a ladder. Where's the? Oh, there it is. I, I can't see it very well. I got him, guys. I'm so cool. Bro, Xander, you got <laughs> arms, right? You, 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 you put like one on top of the other? Yeah, I genuinely cannot see it. Get a torch. Like, uh, regardless, I went over to Max's ch desk to, to help him with something, and then I look back and he's just rubbing his nipples, and I just like turn away and immediately what? go back to what I was doing. What did you just say to me? <laughs> I, I speak the truth. I, I speak the truth. I speak the truth. Docking. Let me dock. Uh... <laughs> What's that, Striker? You want us to <laughs> Fuck you, Burger King. I stuck your booger up my ass, and I like it. Where? There's, a, there's a big berry man walking the halls. <laughs> <laughs> berry boy. Life or death for berry boy! Death. Always death. Life. Are you fighting at it? No, you're not. Nah, I'm just fighting some guy in the hallway. Holy shit, he's inside! <laughs> Sander! <laughs> Sander, you brought him inside, you dick. No. Life or death for Barry boy! Tinder! <laughs> hey, no! Yeah, did you do it again? What's your problem? <laughs> yeah, see, okay, one, it was going after Jess before I went down. So I just went out to see if it's it Jess. Also, just desperately wants to have sex with Xander and just, like, can't hold it anymore. There's no collision in this game, but I'm gonna blame it on Xander anyways. I got fucking caught up because some little twig guy, like, grabbed my leg and then I got stomped by Barry boy. Back up, back up, back up. Boy. Hey there, man! It's great to be back in Radiator Springs. I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple videos where my Lightning McQueen asks you to peel off your skin and then starts talking about how you need to strap a bomb inside your engine. Uh, those are pretty funny. <laughs> what? Uh, you haven't seen that video? <laughs> no. Let, let, me, let me find it. Let me find it on the on the YouTube. Strap a bomb inside. On the YouTube, are you like a bot or something? Uh, They're playing Persona music me? in this Bleach what game, the and that's really funny to me. Why did you find this, Drew? <laughs> you the voice of the next world. <laughs> what is this? Let me tell you. The next world is gonna be super ka-ching. <laughs> there won't be any problems in the next world. <laughs> we'll each have a personal slave. <laughs> and I'll get 10 trillion slaves because I'm trillion be slaves. the new god! <laughs> this is, this is, the, oh the my god. The only way we can get to the next world is by strapping these bombs under our gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> Little Twiggy boy knocked me back into the room and saved me from Barry boy. Oh my god. Hey, Xander. <laughs> Xander! <laughs> Xander, I'm no! Uh, I went through a wall! My laser can't reach him! It's too late! <laughs> Xander got ripped through a wall and murdered. Oh my god. Xander <laughs> taking it to the fucking back rooms, bro. I hate Dumb. this game. No, I hate this game. Fucking idiots. <laughs> you, 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 you know what you did? Your tornado caught a freaking thing, dragged it in front of me, and I got stuck on him. And the freaking belly berry boy got onto me. That's all your fault. You're kidding yourself. I like how I Boys, <laughs> 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 the smack that smiles back. Ball sack.